the Department of Energy Transportation Energy Resources from Renewable Agriculture Program is facilitating improvement of advanced biofuel crops, specifically energy sorghum. The flagship Terra project kicked off June 2, 2016 in Maricopa, Arizona, where the sorghum checkoff announced a half million dollar investment to further leverage sorghum research as a model feedstock. The farmer dollars put into collaboration on this project uh, I think will will buy us a, an end into the into the process that could uh, keep all the research kind of heading, headed in the right direction for for sorghum's benefit. I just am really anxious to see what happens and what comes out of this in the next two, three, four years. I, I think I saw something on one of the panels today that they could process as much data now and gather as much data in 16 hours is what it used to take 40 days. And we, we could learn things about this organ genome that will benefit us, I think, beyond whatever we dream of. This is the first time we've really been able to um, you know, do a project that's the size and scope and the sophistication to really, you know, look at some opportunities. It's just exciting for us to be able to start really looking at how, you know, individual genes tie to physical characteristics and how we can make improvement as a crop. It's going to recruit scientists into sorghum that would have never worked on sorghum before. From a crop renaissance standpoint, you know, it's just uh, exciting in many, many ways to see uh, what a project like this can do to a crop to jump start it and get it back on track from a genetic improvement standpoint. The overall goal of the program is to integrate high throughput phenotyping by developing cutting edge remote sensing platforms which will transform crop breeding and advanced biofuel production. There are a few times in your career that you actually get to see a technology that immediately hit you between the eyes and say, this is transformative. It will accelerate the speed at which we're able to advance varieties. It will also increase the quality of the, the genetic material that we're advancing. And it will enable entirely new gene combinations that before this were totally um, unattainable. Uh, sorghum was, uh, was number one in uh, among my choices and it was very easy to convince uh, my peers that as well that it was number one choice and the rationale was first and foremost it's a crop of significant commercial importance to uh, US economy second is it is an a energy crop and we are the DOE so having an energy crop was particularly important the third is it's a crop that has uh, climate resilience already, drought tolerance, etc. So discovering genes that would potentially be climate resilient would probably be uh, better served by us having a crop like uh, sorghum. And the other uh, key factor is the fact that sorghum is an international crop. It's a food crop, it's a feed crop, it's a fuel crop. And if we're going to build um, game-changing collaborations, having a crop that has importance worldwide is, is very important. Not immediately, but down the line, so minimum four or five years from now, we will have made discoveries that will lead to improved sorghum varieties. The Maricopa Project represents the first opportunity for sorghum breeders to use the same advanced technologies deployed by corn, cotton, and soybean breeders for two decades. Enhancements to the, the sorghum breeding community, I think is, is just kind of forcing adoption of a lot of these technologies that maybe people take for advantage in like, you know, maize breed breeding programs within the big seed companies. In corn, the public sector breeding is pretty small now. Most of the breeding efforts are in big seed companies that that pour enormous resources into it in terms of genomic technologies, um, adoption of t things like genomic selection. They have all kinds of uh, high performance computing efforts backing their breeding programs. And you know, to the extent that I, I'm uh, familiar with the, the public sector sorghum breeding efforts in the, in the United States, a lot of those tools might exist, but they haven't been deployed to the scale that they certainly could be. And this project, you know, with a huge investment from ARPA-E, 
makes it now possible to, to apply those technologies to improving SORG. It's clear to me, and I think others like ARPA in, in the Terra program, that sorghum is poised to be America's bioenergy crop. All of the traits like you know, natural uh, uh, heat and drought tolerance could be America's version of the, what sugarcane is for Brazil, for example, for energy. The other aspect of the timing is right in terms of the genomic tool development, uh, all the sensor technology development like we learned about today, it's really uh, now is the right time for sorghum.